welcome to Financial Researchers Channel. Today we will address a complex but crucial topic for those involved in innovation, the technology readiness level, better known as TRL. Whether you are developing a new technology or trying to bring a product to market, understanding what level of maturity it is, it is essential to avoid strategic mistakes and maximize your return on investment. It can also help you understand if you are ready to introduce yourself to investors. But first of all, what is the TRL? The Technology Readiness Level was originally introduced by NASA to assess the maturity of the space technologies. It consists of nine levels, where TRL 1 is the starting point with the basic scientist concepts, and TRL 9 is the arrival when the technology is ready for commercialization and large-scale development. But why it is so important? Having a precise understanding of TRL helps identify risks, define the resources needed and communicate clearly with stakeholders and investors. You can see the TRL pyramid superimposed from level 1 up to level 9. I leave the image superimposed to go into details. So we have said that the TRL is a 9 level scale that measures the degree of maturity of a technology starting from the initial ideas to the market ready product. Let's see them together one by one. TRL 1 basic principle observed. This is the starting point. The ideas are still scientific hypotheses. Here we look at the basic principle to understand whether a concept is feasible, but there are no practical applications yet. For example, theoretical tests on new materials for aerospace constructions. And then we have TRL2, formulation of the technology content. The idea is formalized and the first speculation on how to apply it begin. The main objectives are defined and the first laboratory experiments are started. For example, a theoretical algorithm for autonomous driving. TRN3, proof of concept in the laboratory. At this level, the concept is validated through laboratory experiment. It is not yet a physical prototype, but the theoretical basis are being tested. An example is the realization of the micro prototype of chemical sensor for environmental application. TRL4, validation of the prototype in lab. Here the concept is transformed into a basic prototype and tested in a simulated environment. You begin to understand if the idea is actually implementable. TRL5 prototype tested in relevant environment. The prototype now is improved and tested in an environment that replicates real world operating condition, even though it is not yet a commercial product. And then we have TRL6 demonstration of the prototype in relevant environment. In this level, the prototype system is refined and demonstrated in a complex environment. Normally, this is the minimum level required to attract the interest of potential partner and uh, investor. And at this level, the seed round starts. TRL7, functional prototype in a real operating environment. This is the first real operational test. The prototype must operate under the same condition as it will be on the market. If passed, it means that the technology is close to maturity. TRL 8, full test system. All components of the technology are integrated and tested in a complex system. Final other health of the performer to ensure the stability and safety of the product. Finally, market ready technology, TRL 9. This is the level, this level represents the completion of the development. The technology is ready to be mass product and launched on the market. So now 
let us see some application to specific sectors. Understand how TRL fits into different contents. Let's look at three industries, aerospace, biotech and software. Aerospace. In the aerospace industry, low TRLs are often linked to search for new materials or propulsion technologies. In intermediate TRLs, wind tunnels and scale model tests are carried out, while in the high TRLs, full test flights are carried out. Biotechnology. In biotechnology, TRL is used to measure to progress, for example, new drugs. TRL 1 up to 3 represent uh, preclinical research, TRL 4 up to 6 include uh, animal studies, and TRL 7 to 9 include human clinical trials and large scale production. Software and digital. In the software world, TRL begins uh, with the definition, specifications, and the initial development of the algorithm. Intermediate TRLs represent testing and debugging, while advanced TRLs include beta release and final production release. So, we have reached our conclusion. TRL is a powerful tool for assessing and communicating the maturity of your technology, helping you make a strategic decision based on objective data. If you want to learn more about to apply TRL to your project, for example, leave a comment below or visit our website. Thank you for watching this video. If you please leave a like, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell so you don't miss the new content. See you next week.